Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Google Play Store on Windows 11. Just a few weeks ago, it was impossible to run Google Play Store on Windows 11. But luckily, now there is a way to use Android apps from Google Play Store with all of their features unlocked on Windows 11. The installation process is not too difficult, and the results you gain are really worth the time you spend. One little disclaimer before we begin. We decline all responsibility for any possible errors of the software you are going to use, although we haven't had any system errors or failures in the process of testing. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Before you proceed to download and install the software, make sure that additional features such as Hyper-V and Virtual Machine Platform are enabled on your computer. To do it, click the Start button. Type Control Panel in the Search field. Go to Programs and Features. Find the tab Turn Windows Features on or off. In this window, check the boxes for Hyper-V and Windows Hypervisor platform. Click OK. The system will ask you to restart the computer. Do it. After that, remove any Windows subsystems for Android if they were installed before. This step should be taken before you can install a new subsystem. To remove them, open the Start menu, find Windows Subsystem for Android, right-click on it and delete. Now it's time to enable Developer Mode in Windows. Open the Start menu and jump to Settings. Find the Privacy and Security tab. Select for Developers options and enable the Developer Mode. Click Yes in the window that appears. After that, you'll need to download the WSA package, which is a modified version of a Windows subsystem for Android. Follow the link in the description and download the package. You can find all comments and links under this video. Extract the downloaded file to any directory, but remember where exactly, because you will have to specify the path to this file a bit later. Start PowerShell as administrator. Right-click on the Start menu and open Windows Terminal as administrator. In the command prompt, type this command add appx package register and give the path to the file named appxmanifest.xml. To quickly find this path, go to the folder containing the file and right-click on appxmanifest.xml. Choose Copy as path to copy the path to this file into the clipboard. Return to the command prompt. Paste the path here. Press Enter. The WSA application will be installed and its shortcut will be added to the Start menu. Now you need to download the SDK Platform Tools package. Visit the corresponding website by following another link in the description. Extract the zip archive to a convenient location. Now click the Start button. Jump to the tab All Apps. Open the WSA app. In the Developer Mode tab, drag the slider to enable it. Now you need to open the File option by clicking here. In the window that appears, click Continue. The Firewall Request window appears. Click to allow access. In the IP address tab, click to refresh the address and copy it. 
Have a look at the address displayed in the Developer Mode tab. It should be the same as yours. Now go to the folder where the SDK package has been extracted. Hold down the Shift button and right-click on an empty area in this folder. Choose the option Open in Windows Terminal. Now run the command and paste your address. Press Enter. Then type one more command. You can see that ADB is connected. Now you need to log in to Google Play Store by running these three commands one by one. Sign in to your Google account. And that's all. Now you can install your favorite apps – TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and so on. As you can see, everything works fine. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck. While you're watching this video, civilians in Ukraine are dying from attacks and bombardments on the Russian Federation. Putin's insane regime has attacked a peaceful country in the very heart of Europe. Support the Ukrainian army by making a contribution to the fund Come Back Alive. Use the QR code or the link below the video to transfer any amount of money that will boost Ukrainian resistance and help it counter Russia's dishonorable invasion.